All right, let's take a look at Butternut AI. So they got really good ratings, almost a five-star taco, 45 reviews. I did do a review, review on this already. I think, I don't remember what my score is, but I really liked the software. It is very, very easy to use. You can start at uh, $69. Let's just go take a look at the plans. Now, this is part of the last call, AppSumo's last call, right? So you have to have a Plus membership in order to pick this up right now, only available for the next three days until January 31st, okay? So License Tier 1, you're going to get published up to live sites, only one. Link Custom Domains 1. Hosting per site, 10 gigabytes. AI-generated blog posts per month, 10. AI agent. So this is going to look different than when they launched months ago. I can already tell this is different than what they had. Even the AI uh, blog posts, I don't believe that they had that back then. But just looking at this and what I've kind of seen in the market with all these tools and so forth, like they need to have some really good uh, content in order to only give you a certain amount of blog posts. But one thing I can appreciate about the low amount is that this is going to cost them money on a monthly basis, no matter what going forward. And they're never going to make any more money off of lifetime deal subscribers. So they, they can't go too overboard on this, but this part, a little bit worrisome you get into license tier two at 169 and you get unlimited AI blog posts per month. That's just nuts. I don't know how they're going to be able to do that. Okay. But if you basically want three sites, license tier two, $169, license tier three, 419, $419, you get 10 sites. And then license tier four, $719 at 25 sites. That is a lot uh, of money, only 25 sites. There's been other site builders on this the market here that have even, I believe, offered up to 100, 200 sites. Possibly there's been a couple that have offered unlimited sites. All right, so we're going to go jump in real quick. So here's what the dashboard looks like. It's super, super clean. There's like nothing going on at all. You can give user access to website mapping. This is where we're going to go and connect our website and so forth. And then you have your help and then that's it. Like, I believe that this has got to be ranked in the top five for like almost nothing going on in the UI. There's literally nothing to do other than just go to home and you're going to be able to see your websites that you have right over here. And then we can go and say, generate new website, right? Like this is like, there's nothing else you can do with the software. Really. You just go to home, click the new uh, website button over here. It's the most simplistic UI that can be a good thing or a bad thing. Overall, I'm going to say it's a pretty good thing that there's just one thing you can just go over here and create a new website. Okay. I believe that the, once we get in to building the website and so forth, that's where we're going to get more options like the website bill or the blogging and so forth. So generate a website. I've already gotten ahead. I went and did some research and perplexity on some products and so forth. And then I said, Hey, give me a, we're going to go with the top number five. Okay. So we've got website business name, crystal boom creations is the business name. So I'm just going to take this whole thing. Oh, wait, we didn't want to do number five. Okay, so what we're doing is we're having perplexity. We've researched the market, found that portable blenders are doing well on the market right now. So we're going to go here and just grab this right over here. And I'm just going to copy all of this. And I'm going to copy that. We're going to go back in and we're going to put that in right here. And then we're going to say the name of the business is Smoothie on the Move. So we'll put that in right here and we'll say Generate. So we only get 250 characters. Okay, so let's go back over to perplexity. Okay. We're going to generate. Okay, so it's going to go build our site. We'll be right back. Okay, so that is super lightning fast. It literally took 20 seconds. You can see that it's still generating pages, but we actually get to see something going on with the site. So smoothie on the move is right there. The home button, everything needs to move over. And let me go and go full screen right here, kind of. So that's something that we will need to look at and fix. It's still generating our pages. Let's go have a look right over here at what we've got. So it's bringing in like just fitness pictures, healthy smoothie blends. So we were definitely going to need to regenerate these. Regenerate image with new keywords. So I'm going to say healthy smoothie. I'm just going to go and highlight this healthy smoothie. We're going to go over here to the regenerate. I'm going to put that in right there and say add. And what's hopefully it can create. There we go. That's a lot better. There's a smoothie right there. So you are going to need to come in here. Portable and convenient are portable blenders. So let's just say portable blender and then go back up here to regenerate with keyword right here. Boom, add. So, so far, I just love the way that this works. That right there, no, I don't like that. Let's go and try again. And that's not really working. That's blender kind of like, I believe it's getting confused on like software. Let's just take this whole thing, this whole concept and just see if we can actually plug that whole thing in right here. 
and say add and see if it can do something for us. So it's really not a real sophisticated, I believe these are stock images that it's pulling in right here. So what we would end up doing is we would want to, we would want to go and upload an image, go use ideogram, go create some real good images and then replace them. If you want a really good website, you're gonna to wanna to use that technology anyways and replace your images. So in this case, let's just go over here and let's just say, and we're just going to say smoothie right there. And then we're probably a USB rechargeable devices. Yeah, so we're going to need a blender. So I'm just going to say, let's just say Vitamix and see if there's anything with Vitamix at all in here. Nope. So they're obviously pulling stock images. Blender and maybe food blender, blender would be what I'd use next. So there we go. Let's just go with that. That's really, we, we're going to replace those images anyways, right? But super easy. And you can just go in here. These are sections. You're going to add an item right here. We can add more items real quick. Come on, the spinning wheel of death right over here. Okay, so it's adding another one. So it's adding another row right here. So I guess we, I don't want that, but I just wanted to show what that looked like. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the trash can right there and just remove that, okay? So as we come down here, I'm kind of wondering if we have a space built with AI add section. I would like to get like a spacer right here. So add a section. Let's see if there's a spacer anywhere. So visuals right here. We got timeline review statistics. They have added a lot from what I remember. They've added a lot more things you can add in here, which is good. Image and text. So this is by layout, cards, photos, collections and sequences, but I'm not seeing how we can adjust the space. And that's obviously something that's going to be important. So I'm going to look some more, but I'm just not seeing unless I'm missing something. No, there's no space. Just wanted to see if I could search for it right here. I'm hovering over this to see if I can like, if I could drag and drop this, that also wasn't there. So one of my just first impressions off the bat is that, and I've been doing a lot of building landing pages lately and sales pages. This is a lot of blank space right here and it needs shrunk. It needs uh, to be minimized. And so I don't see a way to do that. And so that's something that we definitely need to, the option to be able to adjust this because there's a too much going on right there and just too long of a blank space with nothing happening. And you can really lose people that way, right? Obviously regenerate images, but overall it, it fills out and builds a really nice looking website very, very quickly. The biggest thing is you're going to need to change out the text, change out the, but change out the images, but it is creating a website very quickly, right off the ground and running, blending you anywhere with smoothie on the move, portable blenders, boom, why choose smoothie smoothie? So then we would go and edit this and then we have smoothie on the move. It's going to give us the answers. So we could add more right there as well. We have discover the blend revolution. So overall, I mean, really, really good. You even have this for local businesses. This will be great as a local to build these for local businesses and so forth to go in there and just be able to spend like an hour creating a website that they're going to be proud of and look at. And we're like, oh my gosh, this took forever. And really it only took you like an hour or two of your time. Super, super cool. We got your services and all those other pages that are created. And we have our copyright and everything super easy. We can go and change all that. This is where you'll, you'll just push this button and go connect your domain. Really, really easy. Smoothie on the move right here. We would probably, we would regen. I'm just going to push the regenerate like a new hero section of the website and see if it can come up with something. What else it's going to come up with for us. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and just regenerate image. I'm just going to say healthy smoothie again and push add. Maybe it'll go and find something for us. And there's your healthy smoothie. So again, pretty cool. You can actually get rid of this, but you're going to want a call of action. You're going to want the, the, this to be the shopping center. You can go here. This is where you're going to select where you want to take people. You can build a page, put all your products on there, and then just send that or an ad, an external URL. Very easy to set up. I mean, th this is about as easy as it gets. It really, really is. Let's see if we can go and edit this menu bar right over here because that smoothie on the move is pretty long. Uh, this is where you'll upload your logo, your favicon, and we'll go to pages right here, buttons, enable call to action. So we'll just go like that. And let's we'll just say five, 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 five. There's our number. Enable WhatsApp and add custom buttons, save changes. So it's going to add that phone number. Where's the phone number at? There's the call button right there. Okay. And then social links right over here as well. Okay. But I'm not seeing where we can actually adjust the header. 
like right over here, I'm not seeing. So here's the other pages that it built for us. Super cool. Here's the contact us page. So you can see that as well. It's all set up for you. Here's a gallery. It's all set up as well. There's the call button right here. But like I said, this right here, the smoothie on the move, you would want to have some fine tuning and I'm not seeing where we can fine tune where we can fine tune it. Okay. Change theme right over here. So this is where we can go and change the colors of the website. We can go over here and just change the theme to what we want to want it to be. See if we just go and get rid of uh, like gallery maybe and just get rid of a page that it created for us. Add more pages to the nav bar. Definitely don't want to do that. Uh, add pages with external links. So you have some customization. You're not going to get as much customization. I also, I'm just not seeing where we can um, center align. I'd love to be able to center align this. And I'm also not seeing the ability to do that. So those are just little things that we are going to need to be able to do. We're going to need to be able to come in here and move this over to the center so we can actually have our logo there. You're going to need to create a small logo to put it over there so that these don't these menu items we can actually fix those even moving the font size and making it smaller it it's barely even getting to a point where we can see them all on one page like that that's really not gonna work it's just really really small right there but that's another way you can do it you can add more pages all that kind of stuff you got a tutorial let's go and take a look at the preview and look, look at what the site actually looks like again we would need to fix that up there big complaint up there the menu item we need a little bit more customization on there Overall, this is pretty good. Also, we need the ability to fix spacers right there. But overall, are you able to create a quick website very quickly? Yes, absolutely. Is it the best uh, looking website in the world? No, pretty basic. Kind of reminds me of like the different course creation platforms. This would be kind of like your teachable. It's not gonna be the most aesthetically appealing, but it's gonna get the job done and it's super, super fast. All right, so we're back into the dashboard and I'm looking at this. We should have the ability to write blog posts. I'm not seeing that ability. So here's where we're at right here. I'm not seeing where you have the ability to write. So settings, activate. This is what the settings looks like. You need to link it. Then you have your custom chat bot you can add in there. That's really cool. Adding that feature to uh, small business owners and saying, hey, we can put a custom chat bot on there so people can it'll automatically answer questions for customers. It's going to be really appealing to people. You have your SEO features right over here, but we do need to upgrade for that. Analytics looks like they're holding off upgrade pro plan. Hopefully you get access to this on tier two or higher. I'm still not seeing where we can go and add blog posts. Okay, so you have to go up here to plus pages and then you have to come over here and then there's, it looks like a blog right here. So we can click on blog. Is it letting us do that? And then push add page. So it's adding a blog page, I believe. And here we go. So blog posts are one of the effective ways to grow your audience right by your own, right by your own or generate with AI, All right? So let's just go generate with AI. Okay, perfect. So I'm adding in keywords and so forth. I'm not sure what the brand text is. It says no, not required. You have a brand voice right here. This is not really a brand voice. This is just like a, a tone or a writing style. Let's go with heartfelt and target audience right over here. We'll push the plus button. And let's just say female, all ages, local. No, I don't need it. Next, it's generating the article titles. All right, so here's the article titles right here. Empower your practice, nourish your yoga journey, the top 10 smoothie recipes, top 10 smoothie recipes for yoga lovers. I like that. We're going to go with that right there. And it highlights. And then we're going to push next, generating paragraph headings. So far, this is pretty cool that this is integrated into the website. Here's the paragraph headers. We're just going to go ahead and say generate. You can actually push this the arrow button and move these and position this. I don't see a button to add more right here and we're going to generate. Okay. So we're back. We've got our butternut AI blog post that was created inside the tool. We don't know what AI they're using or anything like that. Delight your senses, top 10 smoothie recipes for yoga lovers right over here. We don't have our author name, but we can change that to change our author name. Pretty cool. And then we'll come over here. You do have your SEO settings for the blog post is right here. So there's your metadata and you have your preview. So let's go and take a look at this. So perfect pre-yoga smoothie, energize your practice. As a yoga enthusiast, you understand the importance of entertaining, blah, blah, blah. So you can go ahead and pause this. And then they have some share buttons there. So, I mean, could this get the job done? Yeah, I, I think so. Let's copy this, paste this into word counter. It did write a 760 word article. So not like 
a lot, but good enough to get the job done. Are there any things that we can do inside here? I'd love to add another AI image in here and I, you can edit things down here. You can edit up here, but I don't see, okay, so there's an edit right here. So let's click that edit. Okay, so then it pulls into a full editor. We could come in here and we could actually add another image right here if we wanted to, okay? So it does get the job done. It is kind of old school the way that, but, but you're operating on a different platform. You're not operating on WordPress. You're operating on their built platform. So I would say it's good enough, pretty decent for getting some blog posts out. It says that it's published right here. Let's go take a preview of what this looks like on the site. And you can see that this is what it would look like right here. I would definitely add some more images and make the text, text bigger. It's uh, kind of small, but like I said, gets the job done. So at the end of the day, this was Butternut. Another quick look at this. Overall, what I would do with this, if you asked me, I think this is good enough to go out there and sell to companies. Local businesses, I think, is the primary audience that would want a website that looks like this. This isn't going to be an e-commerce platform or anything like that. This is going to be for local business websites that just need a nice, solid business so that they can get more leads and more contacts and so forth, right? So what your job is, is that you couldn't run your entire agency like this because you're going to sell more than 25 websites. What I would do is come in here and maybe buy this up at 719 and go and find 25 clients for a thousand dollars a piece. You're going to make $25,000 by selling this service, right? So you're going to have 25, 25, one, two, three, right? And that's going to be minus 719. So you're going to profit $24,281 by doing this. And so that's what I would do, even if you cut that in half, and you sold these sites for just $500, right? So then you would go 500. And you would multiply that by 25 sites that you sell, you're going to make $12,500, you're going to minus the cost 719, you're still going to make almost $12,000 in profit by going out there, picking up license tier four and going out there and all you have to do is, is sell this 25 times. This is like I said, not going to scale to the moon unless you actually buy a subscription with them, but it'll get you started, it'll get you making money. So overall, I would like the pricing to be a little bit better. There's some things that are missing, like I already went over some of the spacers and some of the customizations, the menu bar couldn't really do. But other than that, it creates a website very quickly. And I give it a passing grade. I don't know what score to give it. I would probably give it about a, a 3.9 score. Still not in that four range, but solid enough to look at and consider picking up. Thanks for joining me. Link will be below. See you in the next video.